Good morning. Welcome to my new setup for my online class and my online tutorial in how you are going to do building management system or how are you going to engineer a building management system. Okay. Now, uh, before uh, anything else, I would like to wish everybody a good day and God bless us all in everything that we do. Okay. Now today what I'm going to show you is my new setup, okay? Now since face-to-face uh, -face is eventually will happen, so I'm preparing my uh, small laboratory, okay? A small lab for my student in doing building management system. Uh, how you will engineer a DMS project online and offline, okay? Now this uh, setup, uh, I can call this a uh, small laboratory. Uh, this can be used during face-to-face -face and online class, okay? Now, when I say online, you will be a part of my Google Classroom wherein I will keep on uploading all my detailed step-by-step -step, uh, engineering works for a building management system. I started with Twin Exhaust Fan. What, as you can see, I have here my uh, graphics for my Twin Exhaust Fan. Okay, actually, this is now an online system, okay? So, I'm using now my online system so that I will be having access to my controllers. Okay, by the way, let me give you an idea what is my controllers. Okay, I have here my power supply, the main power supply, okay? Now, I have here the power supply for my automation server. This is my automation server, right? Then, these are my IO modules. I have here UI8, FC4, meaning is this is a combination of Universal Input 8 and FC4, then UI8, AO4, UI16, DO8, AO8. These things will be discussed uh, thoroughly or step by step in my online class. Okay, I'm just giving an idea. Now I have two equipment here. Uh, actually, these are fans. Okay, now these fans you can use this to simulate an HVAC equipment. I can use this for twin exhaust fan. I can use this for air handling unit. Let's say this one will be for my supply and this will be for my return. Then, of course, I have some uh, valve actuator where I will attach to this system so that it could be a complete air handling unit. I have also some differential pressure switch. Uh, I have also damper actuators, okay? I have a complete setup for air handling unit. But in my online class, I will start with a very simple one so that you can easily grasp the concept of doing engineering works for building management system okay so i have here my workstation that will try to monitor and control the connected equipment in my building management system now i, I have here a small simple motor control okay as you can see i try to do uh, something that will help my student especially those who are not electrical or uh, electrical graduates or electrical engineers because uh, particularly like a mechanical engineering graduate they have very less or they have very uh, maybe they have no ex uh, they have no good knowledge when it comes to motor control their exposure to this kind of setup is very less okay so I'm done something here where they will easily uh, do the motor control wiring okay first they will do the control for manual then for automatic when it is already controlled and monitored by this controller okay so i have here my uh, basic component for my power diagram i have here two uh, magnetic contactor then two uh, overload protection i have also here circuit breakers then i have here miniature relays uh, because in automatic, we need to provide some information in our uh, DDC or in our controller, okay? Now, I have here the basic control. I have here the pilot lamp indication. I have here the run for fan 1. This is my fan 1, fan 2. Run trip for fan 1, power indication. If there is already power in my control panel, then fan 2, run and trip, okay? Then I have a selector switch, okay? Of course, of course I said uh, this control or this equipment can be operated in manual when you put it in manual okay then you can put it in automatic okay okay when it is in automatic automatically it will run because there is a small program that is controlling this equipment okay i will remove it in auto 
Then in manual, I can put it also in manual. Likewise, the, the same setup for this another set, okay? So this one, you will learn it uh, step by step when you will be a part of my online class and if you will become a member of my YouTube channel, okay? Now, I will just show you. Uh, I will operate in manual. So I, if I push the start, of course, obviously, it will run. Then I can push the stop button. It will stop, okay? Now, I can run it again. Then I can simulate a trip condition by manually activating my overload protection. Okay, let me test it to show you the control. Okay, as you can see, I have here the fun stops. Then I have here some trip indication in my panel. Okay, now reset. Trip is gone. Okay, then you can restart it. Okay, likewise, it will happen when it is in automatic. Okay, now you can learn this uh, step by step in my online class. Okay, now this is just uh, an introduction to my online class. Uh, which I believe will be a very helpful to those uh, engineering students, especially those graduating. And, of course, it will help also those engineers who have not yet uh, landed a good job. Okay. Now, by learning building management system, you have a very good chance of joining an MEP company. Okay. MEP stands for Mechanical, Electrical, and Plumbing Company. These companies, they are the one doing the BMS project scope of a uh, project, let's say a big project, five-star hotel, there will be always a building management system uh, portion of that project, okay? So, even though you don't want to be a BMS engineer, you can always join an MEP company, like you will be the mechanical engineer or you will be the electrical site engineer. Having a knowledge of this will be a very big advantage for you because in a building, Especially if it's a big project, there will be always a building management system or building automation that will try to monitor and control all the equipments in that said project or in that building. It is the task of the maintenance people after completion of a project. It is the task of the maintenance people to see to it that the building is in operational. Uh, all the problems will be handled and uh, attended to. Okay, so this is just an introduction what you will get from my online class and from the membership in my YouTube channel. Once again, this is Santos Capillon Jr. Always wishing you a good day. And to end this uh, short video clip, let's all be safe and God bless us all. Bye for now.